guys. 다시 만나서 반가워요. Now, are you getting to know Korea? Today, we'll discuss about the Korean people or Koreanos. On the other hand, Koreans are exclusive. They do not easily open their heart. So, the greetings of Korean, which is 안녕하세요 or 안녕, like I told you last time, uh, it means like good morning or hello in English, but the true meaning of the word is how are you today or how do you do? So the value they have chosen was chung, like I mentioned on last lecture. So what is chung? Confucius said in the Chinese classical books, if you want to know chung, you have to know jung. So what is jung? When you look jung in Chinese characters, there is a long bar-shaped vertical line in the middle of the square. This represents the look of shape of flag. In this way, jung means center or in the middle. However, this word does not only contain the meaning of location. The true meaning that jung is carrying are the fair and upfront mind which do not bound by personal interest. And the word chung has the character for heart under the character of chung. In conclusion, chung is to embrace chung in the heart, being not partial to one side, and the heart of highly regarding fair and even mind is therefore chung. Next, we have the ideology of equality. It's the mind that everybody should take even and fairly. Well, in good term, it seems to be stating everyone should have fairly and equally, but the truth is to think that others having things that I don't have is unfair and should not exist. There is a saying in Korean proverbs, when my cousin buys a land, my stomach aches. It means that if another person has the land that I don't have, I feel so upset that my stomach is which was fine before. It is the heart of being jealous with others turn out well rather than congratulating them. The Koreans are also highly regard to maintaining the identity as one Korea, thus to conventionalism, thinking that original form is most important. If you go to Korea, there are lots of originals. Who is more original? They are also constantly emphasizing the question whether the original form is being maintained without changes. Even the restaurants have tough competition for being the original. If you go to Korea, there are lots of restaurants with the sign board of traditional and original. What are the phenomena you can see only in Korea and not in the other world? First is the apartment culture. It is not an exaggeration to say that most of the people in Korea live in apartment and the apartment become the symbol of Korea. Due to the small size of the land and a large population, high-rise buildings were constructed. But nowadays, there are a lot of apartments in the countryside as well as in cities. It has become a kind of usual routine or usual uh, lifestyle in the Korea. As apartments become their usual cultures, rather than like small village communities, large-scale residential villages have formed. So, the organization among the com communities was lost and the individualistic culture became more common. However, it is difficult to find a country that has internet as fast as Korea in the world. The second phenomenon is that the forest of signboards covering the buildings. This phenomenon has been brought with a fierce competition, forcing them to make bigger, flashier signboards to advertise, and because of this, Buildings were full of signboards. Of course, you cannot find a big signboard as big as Philippines in Korea. So the third phenomenon is 
The steeple towers and red neon sign crosses in the Korean churches. The steeple or pointed tower of the church in Korea cannot be seen anywhere anywhere else in the world. The pointed towers in different churches are said to be the odd phenomenon. Christianity has spread in Korea within a very short time. Of course, there was a grace of God who loved Korea, but it may be the Koreans' quick and urgent traits in everything. Anyway, there are a lot of churches in Korea, and most of those churches have the neon red cross. So at night, many of the cross lights fill the city. So guys, have you ever tried Buldak Bokumyeon or spicy hot noodles of chicken flavored in Korea. Um, nowadays, it's a popular thing to try this like on um, um, competition for each other. So I also tried these noodles, but actually in the first try, I almost uh, say insulting words about these products and hated the person who invented it. It was too hot and spicy for me. So this is a Korean food product, isn't it? So Koreans likes hot and spicy food so when the koreans came to the philippines it was hard for them to understand the filipinos eating habit which they cook the ulam and the kanin and they just let it being cool and they are they eat whenever they want so the koreans were worried about their foods get, uh, getting cold so they put their food in the tukpegi all the hot boiling uh, hot boiling pot made of stone. It's too, it's very hot pot. They eat something hot and they will say it is ah oh, cool. I feel cool. And even they're drenching with a the sweat. They still say ah oh, it's cool. It's cool. Koreans have lots of sentiments. The sentiments is referring to the feeling of love, sympathy, and kindness toward others. Koreans needed to belong to the community for self-defense. When they belong to a community, they have to share. Thus, part that they own becomes part of the community. This puts them together mentally and materialistically. This share, this share is called sentiment. The Koreans do not like to split the bills in the restaurants. And when they eat together and uh, splitting the bills for individual, they would say that you have no sentiment. If they think that others are belonging to the same community with you, they will share a lot of things with others. So if they are in the same community, they will not be strict. The word sentiment solves everything. There were many cases in which the money problem and the rules are overlooked because of these sentiments. So, Koreans has tendency to check if the others belong to the same community as them. Uh, such are if they are born in the same provinces, if the family name are same, or if the school they graduated is same, or they have trained in the, the same army unit. And I think this part is the same with Filipinos. Also, Korea has a fast culture. I think you all know that meaning of pali pali, pali pali. Um, the word faster is word that people around the world know. When foreigners come to Korea, they are very surprised for the quickness. Food should come out very quickly and work should be done quickly too. There is existing of quick service. The Philippines takes more than a week to deliver goods. However, most Koreans can't wait for even a single day. So they made a delivery service that ships within a few hours on the day and its name is the quick service. Thanks to it, Korea is fast in processing of all things. It takes less than a five minutes 
to go to the government office and take the paperwork away. The Korean's nest temperament or the traits is hungry mind. The mind of desiring to escape from the poverty since they have been living in poverty for many years. Soon, there came the hungry mind and with the meaning of trying not to remember when they were poor and hungry and by forgetting them they will work so hard to not to not to return to their poverty korea's diligence has been recognized all over the world working hard and never forgetting the poverty they were in keeping the hungry mindless and never falling into their own greed and a mind that shares with others who are truly hungry is needed. And also, there is a strong passion of education. There is a saying that the 100 years old system, meaning not building a plan one or two years ahead for education, but to build a plan for a hundred years. It means the education that cultivates the talented people is the most important business in the country. The breakthrough of Korea was possible because of the passion of education. Young men armed with a hungry mindedness work hard to be rewarded through their success. However, the heat of education has caused the competition to increase. Competition for entry of prestigious university which guarantees success was fierce. In Korea, there is a word called sky, but it is not re referring to the sky with the clouds in the heaven, but it's the sky after the first letters of the Seoul National University, Korea University, and Yonsei University. Society was converted into an entrance-oriented society and education became more intense. They invested a lot of money to private education, so the Korean students coming to Philippines seems to be tired of studying. So how was our lecture for today? Did you learn something? Is, is it the same as the Koreans you know? Did you get some understanding about Korean people? Learning about the culture of another country, the history of another country, means that you can be friends with more people from, an, from other countries. And through this, you can learn something that you have never known. It is impossible to know Korea in one morning, but I hope it has been a good time to get to know each other at least a little more. So everyone, let's meet, let's meet in next week. 다음에 또 만나요. 안녕. Ta-da! I know you're curious about this taste, so I'm gonna eat it for you guys. And you can guess how is what the taste would like. So first, I will put it in the bowl. So open it. Ta -da! So I have the cooked noodles, and I will mix the sauce. So first, I will. Put the flax fritz. Uh, this is made of kim to help us lightly for the spiciness of the noodles. And then, okay, the red sauce is coming. It's like a blood. Sheen. Okay, and then I will. Oh. The smell, the smell make my saliva already. It smells very spicy. I hope you can smell it. Okay, and I'll be using this as my plate, like you can see in the Korean novella. So I 
able to get one. It's cool. <laughs> Another shot. It's very spicy. Later, my tongue will be paralyzed. Okay, this is the last shot I want to try. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. So you should try. You can buy this in the Korea market. Uh, I don't know how much it prices. I think it's around 50 pesos. My tongue is paralyzed. So I hope you can upload some video you're trying in this, okay? So thank you for watching my uh, my video for eating these hot spicy noodles. I finished this. Oh no, the hell that was so hot. Ah. <coughs> it's very hot. Never eat this with coke. You will explode. Ah. Okay. I think it's, it's enough for me to show you the agonizing face. <sighs>